Right, I have a confession to make. I don't like Call of Duty. Ah, well I guess that wasn't such a big deal. Say psych right now. I've never been a fan of the big old COD franchise. Like the main campaigns aren't exactly gripping emotional stories. Oh no, 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 so... And to put it bluntly, I was absolutely trash at the multiplayer. Here's a graph to further prove that point. Like, the first couple of games were pretty good. I mean, Shepard's Betrayal still remains a scarring moment for any gamer. What? Ghost! But then they released, like, 20 more games that were effectively all the same and consistently declined in quality. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 mistakes the human race keeps repeating. But hey, this one's got Jon Snow in it. People like Jon Snow, right? No. Come on, I'm not an idiot. There's no way I'm gonna pay £50 each year for practically the same game. <coughs> Basically, I just think Call of Duty doesn't really appeal to me. Much like how military adverts don't appeal to me. If you can fix a car, then you can learn to fix a Lynx Mark 8 helicopter. Well, that's a bit of a fucking leap, don't you think? However, today I've decided to jump into the world of Call of Duty online lobbies. Yeah, I beat Crowley at your mom. <laughs> and play the latest big shooty gun game, War Games! Uh, in case you didn't know, Warzone is Call of Duty's answer to the Battle Royale style games that have become insanely popular as of late. Like Fortnite with its, um, uh, Thanos? <sighs> and, uh, and, uh, funny blue haired man. I can literally purchase the bank that your, your house is, is being loaned out to. Oh wait, no, I know, it's, it's because of Ali A. The game's hit a thumbs up button in the next five seconds and you'll be popping headshots with every bullet. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Yeah, I don't really know why everyone likes Fortnite. I've never actually played it. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Now, as for today, the aim of this video is simple. One, get good. <laughs> Two, get a victory royale. And three, win back IGN. I'm sorry I upset you. Please just take me back. So first things first, I downloaded the game and prepared myself to go to war. <laughs> While the game took a brisk three hours to download. Oh, three hours, thank you. I didn't want to fucking play the game anyway, you c- Eventually though, the game installed after taking up about 600 terabytes of storage just to render this man's mustache, but regardless, I was off to the races. I put in my email address and was ready to- Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, it's been updated. Maybe now I can- uh... Literally for about the next 45 minutes, this connection error continued to happen. It got so bad I tried appeasing the Call of Duty gods by watching the trailer to the latest game. That was epic. But still, fucking nothing. Luckily though, I went over to YouTube and a tutorial showed me exactly what I needed to do. Ah yes. I now understand. So after I hacked my way into the game, I was presented with a cutscene informing me of the next big terrorist threat I needed to eliminate. You watch your fucking mouth! Now like any good soldier, I of course had to go through an extensive training regimen. This would allow me to harness my true super soldier potential. Ah! Well done, mate. Thank you. Yada yada yada, aim gun, shoot people, make friends. Oh no, Kruger, how could oh, I do my this to you? Wait, I don't have my way. god, she took the kids. You all know the drill by now, so if you'll excuse me, how about I actually play the game? Hey, sisters! So going into game one, I had absolutely fuck all planned. But you know, winning a game here shouldn't be too difficult. Like point gun, shoot, wham bam, thank you ma'am, here's your victory royale with extra cheese. Anyway, I made my plunge out of the boogie bus, landed in Luton airport, and hey, what you know, instantly found a rare gun. Everything's coming up! Alex Webb. See, I told you winning this was going to be easy. How many people are left? Ah, 140. <gasps> Now, it was at this point I realised that I wasn't playing a singles battle royale game like my lonely self had originally intended. I was actually playing a trios game, with uh, my teammates being, well, all the fucking way over there. However, luckily, I had a plan up my sleeve. I'm coming boys, don't you worry, I'll be right there! I raced to the location my teammates were at, traversing the challenging terrain and plowing through a barrage of bullets, only to find one of my teammates squatting behind a pole. Hey mate, where are you? Oh fuck, okay, I get it. Little did I know, I had just ran into an intense gunfight. But I wasn't intimidated by that and decided to take the fight straight to this guy's front door. Knock knock, who's there? Bullets. At this point, I knew he was running scared, so I charged into his hideout where, uh, well, I couldn't fucking find him. Like seriously, where the fuck did he- there he is! 
Right, well, on a scale from 1 to 10, I, I think that's a solid 6. However, being shot in the head didn't mean I was permanently taken out of this game. Surprisingly enough, I was actually granted the second chance at life by visiting the Gulag. Welcome to the Gulag! Uh, what the fuck even is a Gulag? Oh, well that's fucking horrifying. To lighten up the mood, here's me shooting this man in the face. <laughs> and just like that, I was flying back into the fight, ready to help out Den the Man 88 and Frank Corp. Which, with a quick Google search, will reveal that Frank is actually... a duck. I will say one advantage to my first game being in the team is that I could act like the special kid eating crayons and didn't need to care. I'm the Illy Beast. Missed the crayon challenge. Because I had two other guys on my team that were effectively military veterans carrying me through it. Plus, they also gave me money. What? Only two grand? What are you, some kind of broke bitch? I mean, I'll still take it. As the numbers on the battlefield dropped, we decided to move out from our strategic position on the roof. As they dove off the fucking thing, and I, uh, well, I took the stairs. I mean, come on. Safety first. Airborne. Unfortunately, though, we got separated during our travels. And by separated, I mean I got distracted trying to inspect the interior of this bus. Just let me, just, just let me in. Just fucking, just ju jump. Jump a bit. Where, what the fuck? Why are my legs not functioning? Aha, uh -huh, I see your problem, sir. You seem to be missing a steering wheel. But it wasn't long before I was reunited with my old friends Frank and Den. Uh, side note, who carries a child for nine months and goes, ah, uh, yes. You shall be named Den. However, our reunion wasn't exactly under the best of circumstances. Ah, uh, Den, don't worry, I've got you, man. Uh, oh, wait, why the fuck are there two of them? <laughs> now, before any of you comment my aiming is trash, I would like to point you towards the graph again. So going into game two, I was on my own this time. No Den or Frank to carry me through it. So obviously I realized I needed a game plan. So I looked at the map, surveyed the safe zone, and came to the conclusion that the dam would be the best place to start my journey to victory. However, the plan went to shit straight away as I dove out the plane far too early and landed in an apartment which had absolutely fuck all guns in it. What do you mean there's no AKs in the kids' room? However, as I stormed out the apartment, I heard footsteps coming up the stairs. I got myself into position and waited for the unsuspecting player. There was absolutely no way I could fuck this uh, again look at the graph back in the gulag I decided it was a good idea to make some friends before I ultimately put him out of his misery I landed back in the battlefield and uh well nothing really happened all I did was stay in someone's attic for about 10 minutes chilling with my good vibes only however I did find a uh, <coughs> epic gun oh my god and once I left the confines of the attic, I found the remains of a once proud EasyJet on my travels. Naturally, I paid my respects before leaving the National Treasure, and eventually found another building's bathroom to hide in. Why are you locked in the bathroom? Ah, now I once watched a donkey video on how to handle this. Ah. I continued walking around, trying to find any type of human contact, but alas, it was not to be. Again, I found another building to stop by at, because my Fitbit had hit 10,000 steps, so I needed to take a break. Luckily though, I found another... <clears throat> Epic gun and also a drone. General Kenobi. Wow, I can use this to spy on David Dobrik. There's a drone in our fucking backyard. A new drone? I'm tired of this neat ass. Yeah. Oh! Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Suppose I should actually try to use the drone. Just fit through. Uh, why, why are you struggling with this? What, what, what the fuck's going on here? Why, why? It's a fucking window. Fucking high tech military drone, and you're telling me you can't navigate through a fucking window? Oh, oh well, that's fucking great, isn't it? Now at this point in my previous two games, I came fairly close to getting that oh so precious victory royale and becoming the next Fortnite ninja, of course. I'm not seeing enough movement. However, close wasn't good enough, and this time I was playing for real. I came into the practice round beforehand and started mowing down people left and right. I wasn't taking any prisoners this time. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Then the actual game started, and I instantly dove out, quickly touching down and collecting any nice looking guns I could get my grubby little hands on. Then I found a bounty, which instructed me to kill King Scassy? Ah, uh, yes, I too am a dyslexic brethren. Anyway, after I collected this contract, I turned into Agent 47. I began tracking down the target, whom I eventually found roaming the fields as he ran into this nearby crack den. Unfortunately for him, though, this crack den would prove to be his final resting place. Boom, dickhead. That's what I call a fucking gamer shot. With that, I collected my bounty, respected the corpse, gained the decent gun in the process, and continued roaming around the wild streets of Ver... Verdans. But to my shock and horror, someone put a bounty on me! Meaning I was no longer Agent 47. 
I mean, to be fair, I highly doubt anyone will actually come and get it. Oh, shit, after I scared away Dog the Bounty Hunter with some pinpoint accuracy, I decided to lay low for a moment until the bounty ran out by, uh, again, hiding in someone's bathroom. Toilet. No, we are not doing that meme. It's like 10 years old. Come on now. We only use fresh memes on the Alex Webb channel, like the Inception sound effect. Oh, fuck. Once my bounty wore off, I went back to exploring and also appreciating the 75% off. Seriously though, the more I wandered about, the more I found good shit that I could use. And with the amount of players continually falling, I felt like I was in for a good chance of winning. All I had to do was not be an idiot for at least one second. Wait, bro, that was like a five foot drop. What are your shins made out of? Fucking cabbage? I've seen Kermit handle fall damage better than that. Oh well, at least I'll probably win the Gulag. Fuck. I mean, uh, hopefully I'll do better next time, right? I mean, I mean, how many more times do I need to do to win this? Oh, why, why do I hear classical music playing? I've got it this time. All I need to do is just land on top. Oh man, I wonder what's out this window. Ah, it's death. At this point, it was one gulag death too many. Maybe I should just give up on my dreams of becoming a big esports gamer like Call Me Carson. <laughs> Maybe it was time to realize the hard reality that I'll never get a winner winner chicken dinner. But I'm not fucking done yet! I went back to the drawing board, devising my best plan yet. After watching countless hours of big Warzone gamers, noting down their every move, technique, and tactics, I had put together the best game plan in all of Warzone history. Now nothing was going to stop me from ascending to peak gamer mode. The game starts and I instantly spot a small problem. That problem being, the area had obviously not correctly installed its Minecraft Extra Pack. Ah, there we go. I landed on the discount IKEA building along with someone else. Unfortunately for him, he didn't notice me. This gained him a broken nose, should have gone spec savers. I then collected the contract, which stated I had to secure this, uh... What the fuck even is this? Anyway, I successfully secured it and gained another epic weapon! That means fucking dead, I really should stop doing it. I quickly ventured into another building, and as I found another loot crate, the Call of Duty gods must have been looking down upon me as I was gifted a legendary weapon. At this point, I knew it was time to put my foolproof plan into action, and if you're sitting at home thinking, Alex, what's your foolproof plan? Well... It's, uh, it's, it's sitting in the same spot for the majority of the game. I mean, it works a treat, and all I have to do is just sit here and watch YouTube videos. Hey guys, you can see I'm calling the Grinch now. Hopefully he picks up. Oh, is this connected? Grinch, hey! Ah, uh, yes. Content. I've literally stayed in this little building for a solid 25 minutes, as no one would dare enter inside. As for any poor soul who was stupid enough to come in was met with a swift end. Sir, we're closed. Sir, I told you we were closed. Oh, oh, that's not- The field continued to thin, and as the safe zone got smaller and smaller, I was eventually forced to leave my safe haven, with only 16 people left. I calmly sprinted across the field until I entered the storage unit hiding for safety, and thinking I would have at least a minute to suck on my inhaler after all that running. However, this man had other ideas. This is what happens when you interrupt inhaler time. Oh, look, he's French. At this point, you may as well call me KSI, because I can't lose. I could feel it in my bones, this was my time to win, and I wasn't going to let anyone come in between me and my victory. Yeah, fuck this game. <laughs> 